let's solve some problems here. If 8n plus 25 equals 65, then n is. Now to solve for the value of n here, we just have to subtract 25 from both sides. So that would be 8n plus 25 equals 65. And then we subtract 25 from both sides. This cancels out. So we have 8n equals 65 minus 25 is just equal to 40. And then we divide both sides by 8 to solve for n. And then n is just equal to 40 over 8. And 40 divided by 8 is just equal to 5. So the value of n is equal to 5. The answer here is letter A. One-fourth is equal to. Now, one-fourth is a fraction, and to convert a fraction into a decimal, we just have to divide a numerator and denominator. So in this case, one-fourth is very easy. Like, almost everyone know that one-fourth is equivalent to 0 0.25. You just have to divide the numerate, numerator, which is 1, to uh, by the denominator, which is 4. That's why you, you get 0.25. Or you can use long division. 1 divided by 4. This is 0. And then 10 divided by 4 is 2. 2 times 4 is 8. Subtract. 10 minus 8 is 2. Okay, we add 0. 20 divided by 4 is 5. 5 times 4 is 20. 20 minus 20 is 0. That's why we get 0.25. Yeah, this is in case um, you're given larger values of fractions a larger numerator or denominator, then you can use the long division if you don't know the exact value of the fraction. So the answer here is letter B. Five and two thirds minus two and five over seven equals. Now to solve this, to find the difference of these two mixed fractions, we can write each of the fractions as improper fraction. So we can write five and two thirds as okay three times five is 15 plus 2 this is just equivalent to 17 over 3 whereas 2 and 5 over 7 can be written as 7 times 2 plus 5 14 plus 5 is 19 19 over 7 so 5 and 2 thirds minus 2 and 5 over 7 is just equal to 17 over 3 minus 19 over 7. Now, how are we going to subtract these two improper fractions here? We just have to get the LCD, the least common denominator. So we look for the smallest number that can be divided to both 7 and 3. Okay, a number that is divisible by 3 and 7. So we can use 21, or you can just simply multiply 7 and 3. If 
it's hard for you to like guess for a number or to find for a the smallest number that can be divided by both the denominators so let's use 21 here as our LCD so 21 divided by 3 is 7 and then 7 times 17 copy the operator sign minus 21 divided by 7 is 3 and 3 times 19 then we can simplify this okay 7 times 17 is just equal to 119 over 21 minus 3 times 19 is 57 over 21 oh okay then we can just um subtract the numerators 119 minus 57 is just equal to 62 over 21 but we don't have 62 over 21 here in our choices um, the given choices here from a to d are all mixed fractions so we need to write our answer 62 over 21 into a mixed fraction so we divide 62 by 21 so there are 2 21 in 62 so this would be 2 and 20 over 21 so our remainder is 20 so this is our answer the answer here is letter C you can divide um, 62 by 21 by using the long division 62 divided by 21 um, is 2 2 times 21 is 42 then minus so we have 62 minus 42 is 20 so remainder is 20 so the answer is 2 and 20 over 21 which of these lines are parallel so we're given here this figure with four lines we have line w x y z so in geometry parallel lines are coplanar infinite straight lines that do not intersect at any point so in this figure in the given figure here only lines y and z are parallel okay so the answer here is letter d and also parallel lines have the same slopes